Hello and welcome to the discussion today. Today I'm going to talk about the youth, joblessness and uh, mentorship crisis. These are very sensitive subjects but uh, they are affecting us way too much. Considering country like Kenya today, the majority of the population is uh, the young people and there has been a lot of crisis when it comes to lack of enough workspaces and today I want to just have a small discussion with you regarding how we can try and challenge the status quo. Ideally, I'm here on behalf of IWAC. It's a platform that tries to bring on an active debate and discussion regarding things that we can try step by step addressing from the grassroots, you and myself and the young people, most of us understand what it means to go through schooling, through college, through your training institution, and then after that, you come and realize there isn't a job that is waiting for you. Well, um, to begin, I'd like to say it's very important to have a skill set, a certification, something that you can bring on board. Well, as much as now we know there isn't any more a lot of opportunities, that does not mean that who doesn't have something will begin. No, you will not. So it is very important first and foremost to understand that despite the challenge at hand, it is very important for all of us to be prepared. I would like to take you back briefly and uh, illustrate that going through school, the time you started schooling, a lot of hope put on your hand that uh, you go to school and you get a job. And then when you finish school, you are not sure about the job because it's no longer as available as before. And that doesn't mean that we forget and we withdraw from respecting the importance of education and schooling. This is something I would like to discuss with somebody. It is very important to go through the schooling process for many reasons. One, without certification, you can't even begin in an interview or even at the personal level. You will not be prepared. You will not have something to bring on board. Remember, knowledge is more or less acquired and acquired through the whole schooling process. I've interacted with a lot of people, young people, going to colleges and institutions, and the idea that there is no work after school is discouraging a majority. But I want to share this. Don't you forget that even the few opportunities will need that. Secondly, for you to be on your own or create an opportunity, at a personal level, you can self employ yourself and you need a skill set, you need acquired knowledge. Even on that, you know, when you go to school, you meet with a lot of people. That is wealth. People are wealth. The people you meet of equal minds will challenge you, will encourage you. And now that is a network. And I will tell you, even after school, some of these people are the stepping stones. So the networking, the exposure that we all get to school, sometimes is more important than even the degree or certificate or the skill itself because we live in a world that we need each other so much. You can never compare somebody who went through schooling, even if they are not working, with somebody who went through schooling. The exposure, you learn a lot. You develop and evolve. It is very important to go through that process. Now, secondly, and this is what I want to say, we all know that uh, the opportunities at hand are few and minimal, not like before. And that is where we need to change the old narrative or are you just schooling blindly, waiting for a job to find you? But through your schooling process, you have to hopefully have identified your area of potential and start to uh, link up with a network of like-minded people and opportunities while in college, while in that tertiary institution, in that training institution. Don't wait things to happen. Go for them. Try to understand what is happening. How is the industry moving around while still in school? Reach out to people. I mean, call a friend today and tomorrow, but that day, call somebody in your career who is in the industry. Prepare yourself way before school so that the transition does not begin after your graduation, but way before. At least we have a lot of information, even when at school at an early age. And this is part of the information. So that it doesn't become a surprise that after school you are confused, not sure what to do. In other words, let's start getting hold of the steering wheel of our own career. We are enough. Let us not get the surprise of the old narrative. Uh, well, to make that point, we all understand how our culture works. Mentorship hasn't been given the best attention in our culture. Well, think about this. Some of us who have gone through interviews and all that, you are always told you need experience. So. Most of these companies, places of work, they will need somebody with some 
prior experience so that kind of blocks away those people without experience and so these young people most of them aren't given room for mentorship and that brings some crisis so my challenge to anyone listening to me is that uh, one if you are the person who needs the job let us first think of creating some irresistible skill set and potential within us so that when somebody tries to challenge you that they need an experienced person above you you present a person or a case that is undeniably beginning towards the opportunity so that as much as somebody would fear mentally you you prove to them that you are the right candidate so there are two cases here you the person who is young and needs mentorship and the other parties that need to bring on board mentorship programs and processes we both cases need to try and change their culture where Every time you need something done, you're looking for the most experienced people and forgetting even those experienced people were once naive in their areas of expertise. So give more room, especially to the people that are young. Mentor them, show them how it's done. It is a cost. But remember, your legacy, your continuity depends on the same people that you train of your ways, of how your business learns. And of course, the people who are being uh, guided and then uh, need mentorship. It's also a challenge to you. Most of us, or most of the young people are known to be hard-headed. They're not willing to be guided. So let us try to be careful so that we don't waste time. Let us learn to listen. Let us be patient to be told. I mean, if you know your potential, sometimes don't go for the money factor so much at the first. First, nurture and develop your skill to a level that it is such a bargaining tool, people will not run away from it. You know, even opportunities have a way to respect people with a positive aggression, people with a willingness to learn, to be mentored, so that the ball is not left on one side and the crisis doesn't become even further or more. Rather, we try from one person, me, you, and somebody else, we try to engage in this process. And my discussion was, and we will continue to be around such issues about work. You have believes besides the aspect of money, we want to bring a narrative of how to address the challenge of our times. And we have already started a discussion. You can be part of the debates. You can follow our page. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can comment. You can contribute if you share the same sentiments. Because I strongly believe that these days we have to look at issues more realistically than how it has been the old narrative. And most of the people have been frustrated. Young people in this school, you didn't know you had something to think about before it's too late. So my discussion today to wrap it up was on the youth, joblessness and mentorship crisis. Everybody has a place and a role to play, right from you, who is young, and the people who are old. There's been a culture that whenever somebody is growing, people don't pay attention to that. In fact, it has been so bad at some point that I have had the outcry of some young people. When they are trying to grow, they are already established people, older, experienced. They kind of broke. I don't know whether it's feeling threatened by the upcoming potential. So instead of mentoring, some people have even gone to the extent of blocking the young uprising or other rising talents and skills. And that culture must be exposed, must be challenged. We need a situation whereby, even if you are a leader or an experienced person, you are an older person, I mean, if you cannot show people you have mentored, helped to grow, then you are part of the crisis. If you are the young person who cannot be told, who thinks they know it all, who is not ready to discuss issues as true as they are, then you are part of the crisis and you need to change such habits, such practices. And generally for all of us, our culture is known. I mean, even when you are doing well, you are careful or fearful to share to even your people or your friends or your neighbors because they would want to bring you down. We have had a situation where there is a lot of unhealthy competition and livery. And this is, these are the things that are bringing a lot of chaos and bringing up a lot of people who are not ready to work and to bring on board results. So let us also, all of us, take the responsibility towards healthy competition, discussions like this one, and try to look at things as truly and as factually as they are. And if you share the same mind, then at least one, two people with the same mind, then you are part of the solution creating people. And that is where 
the change that is so needed will come from. And the crisis will step by step be addressed and be solved. So that what has been done will be your legacy for the experienced. Even your business, you're doing well. If you are a leader somewhere, somebody will carry on your legacy. If you block them, then you're already stamping your doom. If you're not ready to learn, then you're just creating more crisis for you. And I believe all together we can try and discuss more. You can comment and contribute. And above all, you can choose. If you're young, accept to be mentored until your skill is set and ready and strong beginning tool. And if you're old and experience and you are a leader somewhere, make sure you your package of retirement, I would say, has uh, people that you can show you have mentored and established. Then your relevance will make all the sense that you need. So thank you so much and uh, let's continue discussing this on and on. Ewok is your place for such talks and more. Thank you.